On a warm spring day, Korean women will head to the mountains and the fields to gather nengi, bracken, mugwort, all that nature has to offer. In Korean cuisine, namul brings the best of seasonal plants, a gamut of flavors, and nutritional balance to the table. There are over 250 kinds of namul made by seasoning, blanching, and drying edible plants grown in gardens or gathered from the mountains and fields. What kind of food is namul? Let's find out more. Koreans have always regarded natural food as the best prescription for health. Food is the key to staying healthy and treating ailments, and this philosophy is best embodied in namul. Vegetables form the majority of the Korean diet, and the overwhelming consensus worldwide is that that's the healthiest way to eat. More produce, less meats and grains, and Koreans get the majority of their vegetables through namur. Now, namur can come from a variety of vegetables, whether they be homegrown, bought at the market, even foraged for in the mountains and the fields for those little herbs and roots. But that's not to say, though, that the rest of the world doesn't eat vegetables, not at all, but the variety, the versatility, the lengths that Koreans will go to to find those little tasty seasonal morsels, nearly unparalleled. Then what is namul exactly? And when did Koreans start eating it? Namul is a collective term referring to edible plants, including but not limited to greens, shoots, leaves, roots, and vegetables. It is one of the building blocks of Korean cuisine made by parboiling and seasoning cultivated or wild plants. Koreans have been enjoying namul since the Neolithic age. But the etymology of the word namul, which means edible plants from mountains and fields, is from the Shila era. With time, Homegrown vegetables also came to be included in this definition. In the past, namul took over the role of crops in times of food scarcity. Common sanche like balloon flower and bracken can now be enjoyed year round thanks to the greenhouse. Sesak vegetables and sam vegetables are often thought to be modern foods, but they have been long cultivated to offer a taste of spring during winter. Are there any other countries that enjoy garden vegetables, mountain greens, and field greens all together? Many cuisines make extensive use of vegetables. But in East Asia, only China, Japan, and Korea make full use of sante. The Chinese stir-fry their vegetables, reducing the natural flavor and aroma while adding calories. The Japanese enjoy pickled vegetables, like umeboshi, In contrast, Koreans enjoy many vegetables in diverse ways and seek to bring out the health benefits of nature's ingredients. In namul, vegetables become medicine. Namul is rich in minerals, protein, and vitamins, helping to prevent lifestyle diseases that stem from the nutritional imbalance of modern diets centered on processed foods and meat. It also helps to prevent cancer. In the past, seasonal vegetables were a way to fill tables when food was scarce.
Today, these same vegetables are in demand for their health benefits. Koreans have always enjoyed sanche. They're those wild edible plants found in the mountains and the fields, the one that namur are made out of. And of course, with different seasons come different namur. And so Koreans have always seen the change in namur being something of a harbinger of change in seasons. For many years, Koreans have welcomed spring with spring namul on their tables. Dale. Sumbagui and mugwort shoot up through the frozen ground all across Korea. Neng Yi, or Shepherd's Purse, one of the most recognized spring namul, is packed with vitamins and minerals. It's the ultimate spring medicine. Shepherd's Purse is blanched in salt water. Chilled in cold water. Then seasoned with vinegar red pepper paste and other vegetables. The aroma and tangy taste are sure to stir anyone's appetite. Dale is another symbol of spring. The large, plump roots are delightfully crunchy. Dale, seasoned with sesame oil, red pepper powder, and vinegar, bursts with flavor. Mixed with dale, salty soy sauce gets a biting taste. Bittersweet sumbagi namul is perfect for stirring up the appetite. To bring out the refreshing aroma of sumbagi, the bitter roots are steeped for a day and seasoned with vinegar red pepper paste. All these assorted namul come together in bibimbap. On the side, ideally, is a bowl of denjangguk made with shepherd's purse and mugwort. Spring namur strengthens our immune system after a long winter and provides our body with nature's energy. For example, nangi has warm energy that facilitates blood circulation and is great for the liver, while the cold energy of sumbagui calms the body and soul. The shoots of durup, dubbed the Emperor of Sanche, are tender and aromatic. They can only be obtained in small amounts from trees, so Koreans cultivate them in greenhouses. Durup is rich in protein, vitamins and fiber, and contains saponin, which accounts for the bitter taste. It is effective for alleviating fatigue. To prepare dudup namul, the roots and thorns are removed, and dudup is lightly blanched to reduce the bitter taste. Vinegar red pepper paste complements the natural aroma and flavor of dudup. Minari is native to Korean swamps. It is eaten all year round, but spring minari is particularly in demand because it's high in water content, protein, and vitamin B, which stimulates the appetite and relieves lethargy. Koreans have been eating minari since the 10th century. It was considered a symbol of longevity and was served in uncut long strands on a baby's first birthday. To make the namul, 
fragrant minari with sturdy stems is cleaned, blanched, then seasoned with soy sauce, chopped garlic, and sesame oil, or alternatively, stir-fried. Other popular choices for spring namul are tree namul, dandelion, and crown daisy. The seasoning for any namul must be natural and tailored to the ingredient. Spring namul is usually made with tender shoots and must be handled with care. Namul with a strong fragrance is seasoned with salt and duenjang. While bitter namul is seasoned with vinegar red pepper paste to maximize the aroma and texture. So cucumbers, they can be enjoyed raw, they can be seasoned like this, or they can even be cooked. Today we just toss them with a little bit of onions and some seasoning. And they're in season in the summer, but they can be enjoyed year round thanks to the hot houses nowadays, but they're still that classic quintessential summer flavor. They're crisp, they're refreshing, they're cool. So what are some other Korean summer namur and what are their defining characteristics? In summer, namul is made with garden vegetables, like cucumbers, eggplant, and zucchini. These vegetables have cold energy and a high water content, perfect for the scorching summer season. When the rains start, the hot and humid climate robs people of their appetite. The foolproof remedy is eggplant namul. The best eggplants are dark in color with a smooth surface. To make eggplant namul, eggplant is chopped, steamed, or parboiled, then torn into bite-sized pieces. It can be seasoned with soy sauce, ground garlic, sesame seeds, and sesame oil. or lightly stir-fried in oil. These are the two types of eggplant namul. Invigorating and easily digested, zucchini is often used as a summer health food and served to patients. To make namul, Zucchini is cut into thin, round slices, stir-fried, and seasoned with pickled shrimp or salt. When summer turns to autumn, namal is mostly made with fruits or roots, with ingredients like radishes and balloon flour, as well as mushrooms. In late summer, balloon flowers bloom white and purple. The flowers were written into the song Doraji Taryong, which the past Korean women sang as they worked in the fields. Balloon flower is usually gathered in early autumn, and the roots are used for the namul. Doraji roots are soaked in water to reduce the bitter taste, and can be stir-fried to keep its white color or seasoned raw with red pepper paste. The mouth-watering doraji sukche and singche are complete.
The most widely enjoyed vegetables in Korea are radishes and cabbage. They are the key ingredients for kimchi, but autumn radishes are also perfect for namu. The leaves are dried and made into shiregi namu. Radish namu can be made with the raw vegetable, simply julienned and seasoned with red pepper powder. Or stir-fried to keep its white color. This kind of radish namul is often used for three-colored namul in ancestral rites. Shiitake, pine, golden needle. Mushrooms of all shapes and sizes are most prized in autumn when their aroma and texture are in bloom. Mushroom namul is parboiled and seasoned with soy sauce or stir-fried. The most well-known type of namul is bracken. Because of its high protein content, bracken has earned the nickname mountain beef. It's enjoyed year-round and is always present at ancestral rites. Immature, strong bracken fiddleheads are boiled to get rid of the bitter taste before they are stir-fried. It can also be gathered in spring, parboiled and dried, and made into namul the following year. In winter, the only vegetables that grow outdoors are spinach and bomdong. Spinach is rich in vitamins, fiber, and iron, effective for blood circulation, anti-aging, and anemia. Short stalks of spinach with thick, shiny leaves are blanched, then seasoned with salt, soy sauce, and sesame oil for a sweet, crisp taste. Bean sprouts make a great side dish for the masses. The practice of sprouting beans originated in Korea in the 10th century. In the past, when raw vegetables were rare, bean sprouts were usually enjoyed in winter. Asparagine in bean sprouts helps alleviate hangovers, while the protein and vitamin C are effective for treating flu. Bean sprouts are prepared as namul, as well as in soups and bap. They are first blanched, then either salted to keep its color, or seasoned with red pepper powder. Another similar namul is noktu namul, or mung bean sprouts. First consumed in the 14th century, it became known as sukju namul in the 15th century. 
It got its new name from scholar Shin suk Ju, who reported to King Sejo six officials who had pledged allegiance to the overthrown King Danjong. Shin suk Ju's betrayal to the former king was thought to be analogous to the quickly changing taste of mung bean sprouts. Like bean sprouts, mung bean sprouts are blanched and seasoned with soy sauce and sesame oil. When autumn deepens, it is not uncommon to see vegetables drying in the yards in the countryside. Vegetables like radishes and zucchini are dried to make mugun namul in the winter. In the winter, namur is made from, naturally, winter ingredients such as spinach and pomdong. But it can also be made from ingredients stored from past seasons. When ingredients are dried and stored, it's known as mugun namur. Let's find out more about mugun namur. Mugun namul is eaten on the day of the first full moon of the lunar calendar. The word mugun means aged. On that day, Koreans make nine kinds of mugun namul and have them with five grain bop. The belief that this will help them stay cool during the coming summer is no longer held, but the custom of eating namul and five grain bop still prevails. Mugun namul is made with bracken, dried zucchini, and radish leaves, depending on the region. Mountainous areas use wild greens, while coastal regions use dried seaweed. Mugun namul is a ritual food enjoyed on Deborum. It provides vitamins and minerals that the body missed in winter. After Deborum, Korean tables get ready for spring with namul like dalle and nengi. To make mugun namul, dried ingredients are soaked and boiled. Bitter vegetables must be boiled several times. The softened vegetables are strained and seasoned before being stir-fried. Sometimes, they are dipped in water sprinkled with perilla seeds and rice powder, then stir-fried. On Daebodum, Koreans used to eat mugun namul and bap wrapped in leafy vegetables. This was called boksam, bok meaning fortune. The custom has mostly disappeared, but namul sam has stayed. Lettuce, gomchi, and seaweed are used for sam. Lettuce and cabbage leaves are eaten raw, while gumchi and pumpkin leaves are parboiled or steamed first. Namul dishes ensure nutritional balance in the vegetarian-focused Korean diet. Koreans have developed namul for each season to enjoy the freshest foods. And with that come different ingredients, different cooking methods, different nutritional content. But regardless, whichever namu you're dealing with, the key is to cook it simply and to preserve its natural state. And that's just the thing, is that though times have changed, traditional namu largely hasn't. And that's what's helped to keep Korean cuisine healthy and wholesome. Dale, eggplant, bracken, spinach, 
nearly all vegetables and plants can be made into namo. A harbinger of the changing seasons, namo brings back lost appetites and bolsters the immune system. For Koreans, namo is a way to interact with nature and a food that enriches the table with the best that each season has to offer.